What's going on, NIA DAers? So, I want to talk to you about something that I regularly see dealerships, whether they sell, I don't know, 30 cars on their lot, or up to even 300 cars on their lot, that everyone struggles with. And that's misplaced keys and lost keys. And then, of course, there comes the idea of misplaced cars, depending on the size of your lot, right? So, that's the primary function of what TrueSpot does. One of our products, Lot Management 360, allows you to track your keys and your car. So whether you're using a pegboard that you have your keys living on, whether you pay for a, an expensive key machine, uh, the minute they come out of that key machine or off that pegboard, you'll know where those keys are. Whether they're you know, sitting in a, in a sales uh, desk, whether they're over in a service area, a PDI, maybe they're in your detail area, uh, right? Or maybe just a salesperson took them home. Having the ability to see where your keys are at at any time eliminates all that searching, right? Because the last thing you want to do is waste time searching for a key when you could be per potentially selling it or, you know, instead of that, you, you know, you potentially recut a key when it turns out you had the key the entire time. Now you're just wasting money. So let me show you what this looks like. Let's hop into the phone app real quick. All right, guys, so here we are on the phone app, and I want to show you two important things on how easy this tool is to use. The first is I'm mirroring my phone onto the screen here, so you can see what this looks like as far as running a search to find a key or to potentially find a car if you want to do both, right? So all I've got to do is hit that find a key and find a car button. So I tap that, and then it's going to pull up all of your inventory feed and list it on here. So this way you can see every car that's been tagged by you and every car that hasn't been tagged. So let's pretend this 2010 Acura is what I was looking for. I simply touch that button, right? And it's going to pull up and immediately show me where the car is at. And I hit the next button to show me where the key. Now, these both happen to be sitting right next to each other uh, since I think somebody in the shop is using them, right? Anytime I jump in, perfect example right here. Here's a car that's living out on their lot, right? So I can see the lot here. And then when I jump over to that next, it's telling me not only is the key in the building, but it's in the showroom on level one in their key track because these guys use a key machine. So it's going to make it very easy for you to find keys and find cars. So this way, at the end of the night, I don't have keys to get left out on the lot. And I can show you exactly what that looks like on the desktop dashboard, which will hop over to the next. But really quickly, I want to talk to you about what we use to track keys and cars. So this is the tag that I use to track the keys, right? About the size of a quarter, got a QR code on the back. And that's going to allow me to scan it, connect it to uh, any stock number VIN uh, that lives in my inventory feed, right? So that way I know that this specific uh, tag is tracking a key. Uh, Car-wise, I use these. So if you're interested in tracking your cars, uh, hangs around the rear view mirror. Same thing, QR code on the back. You can scan and connect up to a stock number VIN. Uh, so it makes it very easy to understand. Now, guys, know that you can you can track more than just keys and cars. If you've got golf carts, golf cart keys, tint tags, you know, your dealer plates, uh, iPads, anything you want to track, we can use these tags to help you track those. Very easy to do. So really quickly here, I want to show you what that looks like to connect something up. So I'm going to go to the home button, and I'm going to go to that true tag management button down there, and uh, we're, we're going to pick a car. So let's pretend we're using this 22, 22 Chevy Bolt that's right up top. Right, so I got a key button to connect the key and a car to do the car. So all I got to do is touch that tab, and then on the back of that 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 code, there's a code, and then there's that QR reader. Now you could type it in if you want to type in the numbers and letters, or you could simply just scan the QR code. Right, make yourself a, a, a lot easier here and just scan that. Boom, it picks it up. I I click on it and assign, and we're all done. Right, so very simple to do in this process. So it doesn't require a lot to be able to start tracking your keys or tracking your cars. All right, guys, so here we are on the desktop dashboard. There's plenty of different things that we could go over, but I just want to show you some basics of how you could use this uh, to really help your store out to make sure you're not losing anything. So you can see on here the map, right? And this is where we've set up a, a network to geofence off all these areas so you can see those keys and cars as they float around. And I can turn the pens on that you can see all their cars at this dealership, or I can flip over their keys so you can see all their keys. Now, what's really cool about this, right, is that I'm looking at every single key on this campus. So at the end of the night, if you guys are shutting down, I can see if there's a key way up here floating out here. I could select that car and go, okay, well, we know this one didn't make it the key didn't make it back in so i could go out there myself or grab a sales guy and go hey search this uh, stock number in your phone app real quick i need you to go grab that key i think it got left out in a car right so it makes it very easy to make sure we're not losing keys and misplacing them because the last thing we want to do is have a customer stand in the showroom who wants to see a key see a car right uh, and we can't find the key to even show it to them. And then we look like we don't know what we're doing, right? And that's the last thing we want to do is, is we want to make sure these people feel comfortable buying a vehicle from us. So at any given point, right, I can search anywhere on here. I can see another one. Boom, there's a key that's sitting outside. There it is. Grab the stock number or I can click into it, right? So if I was searching this out on the desktop dashboard, it'd tell me where the key and the car are both located at. Uh, so this way I could go out there and go, okay, well, I see the car sitting over here and the key is here. It looks like somebody dropped that key. So let me go check on that to make sure uh, that's not the case, right? So very cool that you can do this. The other thing you can do that I think you guys would really, really like is, hey, at the beginning of a day, how, how nice would it be to know if, if any car left my lot and hasn't been gone in an extended amount of time, right? Because that's the last thing I want to worry about is, you know, do I potentially have a, a vehicle that's been lost? So I can go to the last sightings tab up here uh, and, and I can click on it, right? And, and for this sake, I've got 
eight cars that I haven't seen in the last 72 hours, and I click on it and it presents me with a list of those cars over here. Uh, so very helpful in that sense of I can check on these cars at any given point, but let's say I wanna go to 24 hours, right? I've only got one car that hasn't been seen in the last 24 hours, and then in the last four to 24 hours, I have three cars. So these cars, right, let's pretend, I, I can pick whatever threshold I want, but I can set it up to where anybody who works for me receives an email, right? So I come in, pick a guy, so Ryan, for example, here, click this missing vehicle alerts tab, and each morning at 7 a.m., Ryan will get a list of cars emailed to him to let him know, hey, we haven't seen these cars in the last four to 24 hours, or whatever time threshold you pick. So this way, if a car leaves in the middle of the night, right, and doesn't come back on, we can quickly put together if there was theft. Now, if theft is an issue at your dealership, I would highly recommend uh, that you pick up some of our key tags because I also offer, excuse me, some of our car tags. I also offer these with motion sensing in them, right? So this way, if in the middle of the night, if somebody's trying to steal the wheels off your car or steal the Cadillac converter or steal the whole car, this will shake, set off an alert, and it'll give that push notification to you to where you can prevent that theft. So just some things to keep in mind, guys, when you're looking around at NIADA. Hopefully, you'll stop by our booth. All right, guys, so not only do we have lot management, we have a couple other products. If you have a service department and you want to track keys and cars through that, I offer a fixed stop solution and I also offer a recon tool, right? So if you want to track how long a car spends in each step of your recon process, the overall process, there's all kinds of different things I can do. But for the sake of this, let's just talk about, you know, preventing lost keys and lost cars, right? So feel free to stop by booth 256. I will be there along with the rest of my team. Uh, and we would love to just have a couple minutes to talk about your store, what we can do for you, get you an idea for pricing, figure out if this is something we can fit in the budget, make work for you. And of course, I want to save you time and money. So please do stop by and we'll talk to you soon. Later, guys.